thanksgiving in my heart, I will enter your courts with praise. That the Lord has made, I will rejoice, for you have made me glad. Oh, yes, you have made Kathy and I glad. We will rejoice, for you have made us glad. Yes, you have made us glad. Oh, we will rejoice and pray for a good connection in Jesus. Hallelujah. We come against you, devil. We say whatever arrangements. We bind you and you will not interrupt the word of God going through the airwaves in the name of the Lord Jesus. Well, welcome. Welcome to October 28th. Wow, we're getting to November and I'll be glad when we do. <laughs> Good morning, Mel <clears throat> and yo, Linda. <clears throat> nice to see these precious friends and these brothers and sisters who are hungering and thirsting for more of the Lord. So I am just a reader. I don't have it all. I'm not a teacher particularly. I just read it. Keeps me faithful too. You all keep me faithful. <clears throat> and I appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Today, on October 28th, we will be reading from Jeremiah 51 and portions of 52. And our dear teacher friend, Scott, has taught us that it is pronounced Yarmiyahu in Hebrew. So, Yarmiyahu chapter 51. The sound of a cry comes from Babylon and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans because the Lord is plundering Babylon and silencing her loud voice. Though her waves roar like great waters and the noise of their voice is uttered because the plunderer comes against her, against Babylon, and her mighty men are taken, Every one of their bows is broken, for the Lord is the God of recompense. He will surely repay. Woo! <clears throat> and here is our dear teacher, Scott. Praise the Lord, Booker Tov. And he's telling us what day it is on the Jewish calendar. And I will make drunk her princes and wise men, her governors, her deputies and her mighty men, and they shall sleep a perpetual sleep. Whoa. And not awake, says the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken and her high gates shall be burned with fire. The people will labor in vain. Wow. And the nations, because of the fire, and they shall be weary. I would think so. They shall be weary. The word which Yarmiyahu, the prophet, commanded Sariah, or Sariah, the son of Neriah, the son of Masiah, Masiah, when he went with Zedekiah, the king of Judah, to Babylon in the fourth year of his reign. And Sariah was the quartermaster. So Jeremiah wrote in a book all the evil that would come upon Babylon, all these words <clears throat> that are written against Babylon. Good morning, Miss Luwim. And Jeremiah said to Sariah, when you arrive in Babylon and see it and read all these words, then you shall say, O oh Lord, you have spoken against this place to cut it off so that none shall remain in it, neither man nor beast, but it shall be desolate forever. 
Now it shall be when you have finished reading this book that you shall tie a stone to it and throw it out into the Euphrates. <clears throat> and then you shall say, thus Babylon shall sink and not rise from the catastrophe that I will bring upon her, and they shall be weary. Thus far are the words of Jeremiah. And we move along to chapter 52, 52 of Yarmiyahu. Zedekiah was 21 years old when he became king, and he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Hamutal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. He also did evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that Jehoiakim had done. For because of the anger of the Lord, this happened in Jerusalem and Judah, till he finally cast them out from his presence. <clears throat> and then Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon. Now it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, on the tenth day of the month, that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and all his army came against Jerusalem and encamped against it. And they built a siege wall <clears throat> against it all around. So the city was besieged until the 11th year of King Zedekiah. By the fourth month, on the ninth day of the month, the famine had become so severe in the city that there was no food for the people of the land. And then the city wall was broken through and all the men of war fled and went out of the city at night by the way of the gate between the two walls, which was by the king's garden, even though the Chaldeans were near the city all around, and they went out by the way of the plain. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued the king, and they overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho. All his army, so they took the king, and they brought him up to the king of Babylon at Riblah, in the land of Hamat, and he pronounced judgment on him. And then the king of Babylon killed the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes. And he killed all the princes of Judah in Riblah. The Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Lord. We break through. I don't think Satan wants to hear this sentence. He and he put out the eyes of Zedekiah, and the king of Babylon bound him in bronze fetters, took him to Babylon, and put him in prison till the day of his death. Mm. Now in the fifth month. On the 10th day of the month, which was the 19th year of King Nebuchadnezzar, King of Babylon, Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard who served the King of Babylon, came to Jerusalem. He burned the house of the Lord and the king's house, all the houses of Jerusalem, that is, all the houses of the great he burned with fire. And all the army of the Chaldeans who were with the captain of the guard broke down all the walls of Jerusalem all around. 
Good morning, Julius. Nice to see your name there. And Miss Maria. <clears throat> Jumbo Sana, Julius. And then Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive some of the poor people, the rest of the people who remained in the city, the defectors who had deserted to the king of Babylon, and the rest of the craftsmen. But Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, left some of the poor of the land as vine dressers and farmers. The bronze pillars that were in the house of the Lord and the carts and the bronze sea that were in the house of the Lord, the Chaldeans broke in pieces and carried all their bronze to Babylon. They also took away the pots, the shovels, the trimmers, the bowls, the spoons, and all the bronze utensils with which the priest ministered. The basins, the fire pans, the bowls, the pots, the lampstands, the spoons, and the cups, whatever was solid gold, and whatever was solid silver, the captain of the guard took away. The two pillars, one sea, the twelve bronze bulls which were under it, and the carts which King Solomon had made for the house of the Lord, the bronze of all these articles was beyond measure. <clears throat> now concerning the pillars, the height of one pillar was 18 cubits. A measuring line of 12 cubits could measure its circumference. And its thickness was four fingers. It was hollow. A capital of bronze was on it, and the height of one capital was five cubits. With a network and pomegranates all around the capital, all of bronze. The second pillar with pomegranates was the same. There were 96 pomegranates on the sides. All the pomegranates all around on the network were 100. <clears throat> and maybe you could say something, Scott, about uh, the, the importance of the pomegranates, how they felt about what, what that fruit meant to them. The captain of the guard took Sariah, the chief priest, Zephaniah, the second priest, and the three doorkeepers. He also took out of the city an officer who had charge of the men of war, seven men of the king's close associates who were found in the city, the principal scribe of the army who mustered the people of the land, and 60 men of the people of the land who were found in the midst of the city. And Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, took these and brought them to the king of Babylon at Riblah. And then the king of Babylon struck them and put them to death at Riblah in the land of Hamat. Thus, Judah was carried away captive from its own land. These are the people whom Nebuchadnezzar carried away captive. <clears throat> In the seventh year, 3,023 Jews. In the 18th year of Nebuchadnezzar, he carried away captive from Jerusalem 832 persons. In the 23rd year of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive of the Jews 745 persons. All the persons were 4,600. Now it came to pass in the 37th year of the captivity of Jehoiachin, king of Judah in the 12th month 
on the 25th day of the month that evil Merodach, king of Babylon, in the first year of his reign, lifted up the head of Jehoiachin, king of Judah, and brought him out of prison. And he spoke kindly to him and gave him a more prominent seat than those of the kings who were with him in Babylon. So Jehoiakim changed from his prison garments and he ate bread regularly before the king all the days of his life. Wasn't that wonderful? For that man. Mm -mm -mm. And as for his provisions, there was a regular ration given him by the king of Babylon, a portion for each day until the day of his death, all the days of his life. <clears throat> you imagine how grateful he was. Wow, what an incredible portion of God's word. Wow. All right, we move right along, y'all, <clears throat> to the wonderful, wonderful epistle of Titus. Titus, chapter 3. Titus 3. Remind them to be subject to rulers and authorities, to obey, to be ready for every good work, to speak evil of no one, to be peaceable, gentle, showing all humility to all men. We have our challenge with that sentence, don't we? For we ourselves were also once foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving various lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful, and hating one another. But when the kindness and the love of God our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit whom he poured out on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, that having been justified by his grace, we should become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Wow. Here's where we need to put our attention. <clears throat> this is a faithful saying and these things I want you to affirm constantly, that those who have believed in God should be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable to men. But avoid foolish disputes, genealogies, contentions, and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and useless. Reject, how about that? Reject a divisive man after the first and second admonition, knowing that such a person is warped and sinning, being self-condemned. Wow, now that's a strong sentence. When I send Artemis to you, or Tychicus, be diligent to come to me at ne ne Necopolis, for I have decided to spend the winter there. Send Zenos, the lawyer, and Apollos on their journey with haste, that they may lack nothing. And let our people also learn to maintain good works, to meet urgent needs, that they may not be unfruitful. <clears throat> All who are with me greet you. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen.
Isn't that awesome? Praise God. There's a lot in there for us to measure how we're doing. <laughs> There's always room for great improvement. All right, we have come to Psalm 100. Psalm 100, a psalm of thanksgiving. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. We will enter his gates with thanksgiving in our hearts. We will enter his courts with praise. We will say this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice for he has made us glad. Oh yes, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Isn't that beautiful? All right, we wrap up today's wonderful portion of the Word of God with Proverbs 26, verses 18 and 19. Proverbs 26, 18 and 19. Like a madman who throws firebrands and arrows and death is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I was only joking. Look at the fierce description the Lord has laid out here for the man who just says, I was only joking. He is like a madman who throws firebrands, arrows, and death is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I was only joking. Ah, pomegranate is rimen in Hebrew and is one of the Shiva menim, seven holy species of Israel that was tithed. Ooh, I can't wait to read the rest of that, Scott. Thank you. Thank you for your marvelous Instant teacher, what a great gift you have. We love you dearly, brother, that you care to come and share with us. It's so wonderful of you. Let's close in prayer. <clears throat> Father God, what words can we say, Lord, of thanksgiving? We will just say it and say it from our hearts. We are so grateful, so thankful for your wonderful, powerful everlasting, never-changing word to us. It's the foundation that we can walk on and depend on. Everything else is shaky, but your word is firm and true. Thank you, Lord, for giving us your wonderful word and preserving it. We are grateful to the Jewish people for preserving the word of God, the Torah. <clears throat> so important. Scott tells us everything that is can be found in the Torah. Isn't that something? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your incredible sacrifice on the cross. Oh, Jesus what you did for us. We are so grateful. So grateful. Grateful for forgiveness, for eternal life, for deliverance. And new every morning are your mercies for us. What a loving, wonderful Savior. Thank you for sending to us 
Holy Ghost, Rakakodesh. We are so grateful. Holy Spirit, you are our best friend on earth. By far the best friend. You help us and you direct us and you comfort us. You are just, you are beyond amazing. You are Trinity with Father, with Abba, and the only begotten Son, Yeshua HaMashiach. <clears throat> Lord, we hold up your land. We do pray for the peace of Yerushalayim. We pray for her peace today. This city that Satan torments. Father God, strengthen them. Help them, Lord, in this time of shutdown. And help them to be able to open up Yerushalayim. Open up Israel. They desperately need the tourism back. It is such a huge part of their paycheck to live. We pray for it to happen. And we'd ask, Lord, you would bless Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu and the Knesset and cause them to do your works, Lord. Cause them to see your hand and what you are doing and cause them, Lord, not to kick against that, not to work against it, Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for a good connection to finish. Thank you, Lord, for blessing Israel. And, and Lord, mercy and truth, everything good we can think of is in your right hand, but so is judgment. When you bring that arm of yours down, Lord, we see you working. We see you exposing great And we thank you for it, Lord. We give you praise. Have your way with us, Lord. Cause us to repent. Cause us to come before you and repent of the sins of this nation. Lord, I'd ask you to bless Donald Trump. Keep him <clears throat> The energy you've given him is supernatural. Father, cause him to only do your will. Cause him to cause him to not be swayed. Cause him to keep on keeping on. We thank you, Lord, for a wonderful lady, Amy, now Justice Amy. Thank you, Lord, for the things that are good. And we pray, Lord, for all the enemies of the cross those who don't know you yet. And we pray, Lord, that you would convict, soften their hearts and cause them to see that all this hatred they are spewing is ruining themselves. Father God, we lift up those issues and those people who we are concerned about. I hold up our sister Janine this morning. And we pray for you, Janine, as another surgery for cancer is performed this morning. We pray that God will keep you. He will cause good cells to multiply within your body this day. Good cells to replace those that aren't. We hold up, Lord, many people, and we'd ask you would hear the prayers of your sons and daughters and all of God's people, including Connie, just replied with an Amen. 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 And went about your own 
praises in songs. Let's lift up to him praise that will bless his heart. Amen. Amen. I love you all so very much. Bye-bye.